You know, see, one thing about Hollywood, right, when it comes to stuff that goes on, I'm going to be honest with y'all. I really don't take a lot of this stuff to heart. I'm not belittling anybody's claims or dismissing them. I'm just saying I don't take it on. I don't throw it on my back like a backpack and I'm going to high school. I just don't do that. Um, because there's always some shit going on. And see, the first things that comes to my mind is like, okay, what did Lizzo, I mean, because at now, at now it's not a secret. So it's like, what did Lizzo do to piss somebody up above? Like, did she piss somebody off above her? And now they coming out with this stuff. And I say that because it's just like, how is it sexual harassment for everybody? Every for everybody. Everybody is sexual harassment. Like that seems to be the thing. I think they always going to throw at you what's the theme at the time, like what's the most inflammatory to the narrative at the time. I don't know. But that might that part of it might be um, you might look at that as like that's conspiracy. Right. And so I don't want to go back and forth over the tenfold hat theory. I'm just saying that's what I thought. Now, here it is, allegedly, because, again, just because they said it on the news, I'm going to use a legend. Shit starts to get real hairy. You know what I mean? It, it does. It it seems like it starts to get real hairy when it comes to some shit you doing. I let them, the news, they can take that brunt. I'm not about to play with these people. So allegedly, and this is what's driving me crazy because it looks like this camera could be clearer. Hold on, y'all. Forgive me. Hold on. Let me t stop the camera and can keep talking. So... <laughs> Here it is. There allegedly is, is sexual harassment. It's hostile working environment. Now, we know we don't like no hostile working environment. We know good in hell. Well. Now, Liz, oh, no. She know good in hell well she didn't like no hostile working environment before she came famous. Why is she creating one? Sexual harassment, we kind of wouldn't have brushed over that. I don't know, could be. Again, I'm not dismissing those making the claims, but I'm saying, you know, when it comes to Hollywood, I'm sorry I got my antennas up. I, I just don't jump in on it. Like, I'm not convinced. You know what I mean? I just, I don't I don't get into that bag. But we're going to talk about what's in front of us. We can do that. Um, Racial harassment. Like, the sexual harassment. Let's go back to that. Mm -mm, we can't brush over that. I said one thing, but let's go back to that. So they go on to whatever, a strip club, some adult entertainment, and she's trying to get them, one or them, to touch the naked dancer. First of all, I thought we don't hang out with people we work with. Like, I thought after the job is done, ma'am, after I got done sliding across this floor for you at that venue, I'm going home. I, I, didn't, I didn't slid across the floor. I didn't roll on it. You know, I did all of that. I'm about to go home, ma'am. Y'all hanging out after work. We all know when you hang out with the people you work with after work, it gets messy. You know that. I'm not victim blaming. I'm just saying. We know that. I don't hang out with people that I work with. Not for real. I've done it in my time, but that's very rare. If you get some people that you can find, you can rock with outside of the workplace, that really is something special. That's a gem. I really believe it's like in divine order or something. If some shit like that happened, it's got to be because. You just don't go hanging with people because people are messy. You know, people will hang out with you after work and they will wait to catch you slip. Get, you know, they want to catch you slipping so they can go to a job and tell everybody. Now, Lizzo, see, that's in reverse is what happened. You hanging out with these people that's dancing for you. Somebody's blowing up my Instagram. You hanging up, hanging out with these people that is supposed to be dance for, dancing for you. And now this. Allegedly, because I don't know what well, Holly Reard should. They, I'm not saying they making stuff up, but I'm just saying some stuff be made up. I'm not saying what's made up and what, you know, it's just be a lot going on. It's 2023 and it's a lot going on. I mean, hell, the fact to me that Lizzo is trending number three on Twitter. I think that's a lot. I think that's a lot. I think that says a lot. And um, I think if you don't have on your thinking cap, you won't get why that says a lot.
But if you do, you will know I'm simply saying it's so much going on in the world. And one thing we could set our watch on is somebody going to be involved in the scandal or doing something dumb. That's one thing we can just set our watch on. I mean, it's a part of life. It's no judgment. I'm not judging. <laughs> Honey, I, that's one thing about it. I will talk my shit, but I am not judging. I want to make that clear. Because I understand how this whole hookup works. Though that is a necessary component to component to our existence. People engaging in these type of uh, ridiculous situations. But um, we could be doing so much more with our time. It's people dying. It's people getting trafficked. And, you know, we didn't figure it out. <laughs> Brothers in the hood is just, I mean, they not that sophisticated when it comes to crime. I'm just saying, like, think about people in the hood. See, I don't know what, what do people really think this trafficking, who do they really think is doing it? Who do they think is doing it? That's what I would like to know because they're not that crafty. It was just a, um, a group of black men. Running out of a store, a Gucci store, with a whole bunch of bags, just ran right out the front door as if that was some kind of bright idea. I mean, they, they had to think it was brilliant. They had to think that this was like the next coming because why else would you do something so outrageous and ludicrous when there's cameras everywhere? I mean, you don't even have to smile for a camera, but it's going to catch you. So I don't know. That's ludicrous to me. But Lizzo. No, nah, Lizzo, I hope this ain't you, girl. I hope this ain't you because this is a mess. Sexual harassment, and it can all be avoided if y'all just do your job and go home. Um, hostile working environment, Lizzo, I know you know, like I know. We don't like hostile working environments. I mean, why would that even be a thing, allegedly, in your whole hookup? Why would you be contributing to something that we all know? We know because we know. That's not nothing that we like. I don't want anything hostile. Let me tell you something. I called and ordered some food one time. The lady got on the phone hostile. I said, I don't, I don't even want the shit. I don't want it. I don't, I don't, that hostile energy. Phew, I don't want to eat that. Mm -mm, no, no. So Lizzo, you know better, girl. Stop it. Um, If that's you, allegedly, I don't know. That's what they saying on the news. I'm just... I'm just regurgitating what's being said. And the body shaming, come on, Lizzo, now, damn. Because we didn't see you on social media crying. Let's be honest now, ma'am. This is no shade towards you, honey. I'm just, I'm just reporting the facts. I'm not saying anything. We, we have seen you with your feelings hurt on live crying, rightfully so, because people are monsters. So I want to know with that being said, if this is true about you, which is alleged, why would we be body shaming anyone that I mean, because it's like your body positivity and then you're crying on your lives. And it's like, I'm just I'm accepted of everyone. You know, it's like, as my girl would say, you're almost Jesus girlfriend when you hit that live. But yet this is what is being reported. But this is a legend. Like I said, when it comes to Hollywood. <laughs> It could be some shit. I don't know. She might be on somebody. She didn't do what she was told. And now they hit them, her upside the head with this shit. And they know people going to get all riled up because these are sensitive subjects in the era that we live in. So it is very befitting. I don't know. I don't know, y'all. Like, I ain't trying to come with no conspiracy or nothing like that. I'm not trying to go down that route. But I, <laughs> these are just things that I am proposing that could be going on. Right? That's all. So I think that's enough about Lizzo. I think I've said all I could say about that. 